WWDC is here and we need to install Xcode Beta 16. So uh, this video is sponsored by Swift UI Camp. Uh, more on this later in the video. Today we are going to install uh, Xcode Beta. So uh, let's just search for it. So download Xcode Beta. Uh, there we go. Let's just add a beta over there. And there are a few tips and tricks right over here. So just go to developer.apple.com Xcode resources. Uh, here's the full link. Uh, there we go. And what you want to do is just select download the beta. And uh, for this, you need to be enrolled into the Apple developer program. So if you haven't done uh, that already, please uh, do so. So let me just select this and uh, enter. There we go. Uh, let's add our password uh, right over there. Two-factor authentication, always a good thing. Uh, just a second. Yeah, by the way, um, uh, there we go. Let me just have my face ID over there. A lot of dudes right over here. Great. Let's trust this browser. Great. And um, here are the download options. Now, as you can see, there are quite a lot. You can have iOS 18, beta simulator, runtime, watchOS 11, all of that stuff. But what you need to know is that it's enough to just install the Xcode 16 beta and then whatever you need, you are going to add onto it. So here are details, uh, just click on that and it says, okay, this is uh, uh, what Xcode 16 beta is and here is the zip file. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to remove it from my applications folder. Uh, let's move to bin. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start the download. Uh, let's just start that, it just started. And uh, while it's downloading, make sure that uh, you are on, not uh, over here, but under the system settings, uh, you want to make sure, uh, where is it? Under general, I believe? No, about software. Yeah, so the software update. So you should be at least on macOS Sonoma 14.5. So if you are on 14.4, it will ask you to upgrade. Basically, it will not ask you. It will have kind of a stop sign on top of the bed, the icon of Xco 16 beta. Uh, yeah, and it, if you're just trying to launch it, it will say, um, the uh, your version is uh, not uh, good enough. So yeah, you have to upgrade to point five at least. So that's uh, uh, something that you need to be aware of. And uh, yeah, it looks like it has a uh, uh, download. It has been downloaded. Let's just go to the downloads folder right over there. Xcode 15, double click on it. And it will expand it, of course. It's just going to verify it. Till all of this is expanded, let me uh, talk a little bit more about Swift UI Camp. So, WWDC is here. There are a lot of new stuff in Swift UI and across the board. If you want to learn Swift UI in four weeks, Swift UI Camp is what you need. And um, yeah, just take a look at, yeah, I'm just going to have these live sessions, Zoom sessions, just like these uh, that I'm having on YouTube for uh, weeks four sessions, two hours each, one and a half hour teaching, half an hour Q&A. And we are going to learn about SwiftUI basics, layout, data handling. That's kind of the most important part. And um, yeah, the uh, MVVM and its downside and what I propose instead. Then uh, second week, navigation, uh, everything about navigation, the pros and cons, everything that's come uh, with it. And week three is, of course, Swift data because Swift data is kind of amazing, actually. It's really nice. I'm going to learn CRUD operations, sorting, filtering dynamically. So, um, you know, not just setting up a sort and filter. Migrations, uh, relationships, and also connecting to iCloud. So, yeah, you can ditch core data. Uh, and on week four, we have 
all of your questions, all of what you need to uh, progress into that advanced level of uh, Swift UI, and whatever. And here are some just some examples that I thought along the previous versions of uh, Swift UI camp: view builder, match geometry effect, async await, identifiable, sign in with Apple, maybe connecting to Firestore, whatever you need. And how will this work? Well, after you sign up, you will get an email from me where I will ask you, okay, what is it that you need? And I'm going to jam pack this week four session for uh, all of you. Uh, no prior Swift UI knowledge is required. Each session starts and ends with a Q&A. Sessions are recorded for you to rewatch later. And yes, please feel free to take a look at the testimonials and maybe at the frequently asked questions. Now, there are five seats at a 50% off and um, the link is down in the description or you could just go to store.rebeloper.com and uh, you know just go for Swift UI camp uh, it's it's on the top of the page by the way and uh, yeah uh, max 10 students alive why is that well because I want uh, to have kind of an environment that it's uh, really uh, really caters to the students uh, own specific cases because you will be able to interrupt me ask questions about swift and all of that stuff okay so uh let's see it's it's still uh unpacking it expanding xcode 16 beta great okay so uh um while this is expanding it, it's taking a little bit longer than uh, I expected. It may, maybe it's because I'm just uh, screen sharing right over here. Uh, after that, uh, you will be asked to also download the simulators right over here. So iOS 18 beta simulator runtime. Now, um, you could just do it from right over here. So iOS 18 beta simulator runtime, DMG. But I suggest, and also uh, the... So uh, the better way of doing this is to just simply wait for Xcode 16 beta to uh, expand and then launch it. Of course, you should put it into uh, the applications folder and then it will ask you to just download the minimum required uh, simulators. So yeah, that's, that's what we are going to do in just a second. Um, let me just uh, take a look at if I missed anything in Swift UI camp. Yeah, we are going to talk about data handling. So that's where I'm going to start uh, Swift UI camp. So state, observe, and environment. We're going to talk about the previous, you know, observed object, state object, and all of that previous stuff. But we are going to embrace the new way of handling data because, yeah, basically Swift UI is data UI because data drives the UI but more on that inside Swift UI camp again the link is down in the description now let me just see how far are we in the expanding and it should be ready now okay so uh, yeah you may feel, feel free to just move this to the bin and then just move uh, this into the applications folder let me just scroll down and double click on it and most probably it will just not ask me to add the simulator runtime because I already have installed it. But uh, let's just see. So it's just starting right over there. And uh, yeah, if it does, just, just select whichever you'd like. So we have the iOS, Vision OS, TVOS, Mac OS. So yeah, you will see that a window pop up and maybe we should also, but maybe not because I have already installed it. Let's just wait for the whole pop up to come up there we go xcode version 16.0 beta and uh, yeah uh, let's just create a new project let's just see if uh, we can do that yeah because i already downloaded the ios version but on mac os watch os yes so you see uh, i did not download the uh, watch os simulators so you will be asked to get any of those let's just see tv os vision os as you can see i only have ios so uh, uh, that's fine so that's how you download and install xcode 16 a beta and if you do like these styles of tutorials how my teaching style go ahead and also check out swift ui camp where you can learn swift ui in four weeks the link for a 50 percent off is down in the description and i will see you in the next one